Protesters clashed with police and the army on the streets of Bolivia. Live rounds were shot. Tear gas didn't dispel angry Bolivians who demanded interim president Janine Añez to resign. On her first day in office, she's facing a country in turmoil. Social and political disputes are battled all around, including the National Assembly. On Wednesday, some of Evo Morales' mass party members tried entering Congress. Adriana Salvatierra had resigned from the Senate's presidency. She tried to come back, but police blocked the way. This government is trying to portray the coup d'etat as a natural thing. We are legislators and we need to go to the assembly. On the other side of the barricade, Morales' foes shouted fraud at adversaries. A reminder of what sparked the political crisis that forced President Evo Morales to resign. The interim president is relying on security forces to restore law and order. She appointed military commanders before the cabinet. Taking up command of the armed forces at a crucial time for the state to bring this stage to an end and for new elections. The interim president has said that she wants to bring peace back to the streets of the country and that means that police will continue their patrols with the army. Stability, naming a new electoral court and calling on new elections in December is the priority of the transitional government. But analysts say nothing can be done without negotiating with Morales' supporters. The president must begin a dialogue because the MAS party is a reality, whether people like it or not. Otherwise, if there's no dialogue, we're lost. From his refuge in Mexico, former President Morales pledged to return. If my people ask for it, we're ready to go back to pacify the country, but national dialogue is important. Otherwise, it would be difficult to stop this confrontation. In the capital, some roadblocks were removed and stores opened after weeks of near shutdown, but just for a short time. Thousands of angry Bolivians were back on the streets early, a reminder of just how far Bolivia is from coming out of the crisis. Mariana Sanchez Al Jazeera, La Paz, Bolivia.